afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And today we are very excited to be here in Kiev, Ukraine. And thank you for this cold weather. <laughs> it's more, actually, it's more and more colder than Mongolia. <laughs> and, and today's my topic is act responsibly in the capital box. And before that, I would like to uh, express my gratitude uh, to Victoria, Valentino, Gusum, and Calvert for all supporting activities for Mongolian management consultants and especially for this kind of activities. And thank you very much. Yeah. Victoria is not here, right? She's not here. Okay. Um, so my name is Baroshi. I'm here today. I am coming um, here on stage representing our five people team. Mongolian consultants and um, using the, I'd like to introduce our organization, Development Solutions NGO, and I'd like to share our experience and model, DS model, how we are in the, thinking in the capital box. So, in 2008, Development Solutions was established by a team of uh, who work in the business development project. It was funded by US government, and we are child of that uh, business development project. Uh, unfortunately, every project has a term. They finish, they complete on the certain dates. But after that, what would happen, especially to our business clients, beneficiaries? So based on these questions, uh, many of our business beneficiaries asked, started to ask us, what would we do after you le leave us? Then we decided to establish this NGO to continue business development operation in Mongolia to support, to contribute in the business consultant service. Then we established this organization with a mission to support small and medium enterprises in Mongolia to be more stronger and powerful entrepreneurial uh, community to create this. So our core services are like business trainings, consultancies, information, and business linkage service. That, that service helps people to sell and uh, buy their uh, required products and services as well. We also provide a group development service, because in Mongolia we need to work as a cooperative and a group uh, level to be to uh, produce more massive production. Because Mongolia has only three million population. We have to go out to the international market to sell our Mongol country uh, resources. So, sorry, uh, just go for, not, not, for, not forward, just, okay, the pictures, yes. So in 2013, it was a very fantastic year for Mongolia and our organization as well. We received the Gabriel Salem Foundation Award, the best consultant. That was very fantastic. Uh, it, that award motivated us to work more, to use out actually more energies, more time, more uh, resources, what we have. Another one chance is to meet with the Prince Charles in September. We, the Prince Charles, who, he helped us to start a young entrepreneurship program in Mongolia. So we started, we kicked off this program and now working with underserved young people. We also started a new program in Mongolia, CSR. So we partnered with CSR Asia to create responsible businesses. Because Mongolian businesses used to think our activities for only profit, but now we have to change this mind to be more socially responsible or culturally responsible. So all these works are done by our 30 people team, Development Solutions NGO. So next please. And next, so we act all our program from, from global problems. We always uh, assume what kind of problems we have 
these problems are like climate change, unsustainable population growth, or economic crisis. And then going into the business level, actually micro level, like regulations, taxes, labor movement, markets. And then, next, next please. So based on these problems, we deliver our model uh, to uh, partner with the local and national partner organizations like banks, investors, business consultants in all over Mongolia, in all over the country. That is our delivery model. We use our trainers and consultants. For all this program is for all uh, to create uh, social entrepreneurs in Mongolia. So, next slide please. So what we are doing by ourselves to make these all things is to increase our capital. We have different capitals. We have to identify all these resources. So first of all, the social capital is very important part to help us. Actually, we always focus on networking to become a part of the different groups, different communities to help our young entrepreneurs. And also we organize the regular club meetings for our to gather all entrepreneurs to meet each other, to work each other. The other capital is cultural capital. It's uh, what our development solutions thinks. Actually, our motto is like Richard Branson's one motto is like, be nice. Everywhere we have to be very nice, not fail. Third one is experiential capital. Mongolia has been in free market economy since 1990s. So our experience is very limited. We are still learning. Our all staff is struggling to learn how to be entrepreneurial, how to be real consultant, and how to be business development service provider. So we are working on training, consulting, mentoring, and coaching to be a leading organization in business development industry in Mongolia. So the other capital is financial capital. We work with different international donor organizations and international uh, funding organizations as well to bring uh, new models into Mongolia. And also we focus on our material capital, intellectual capitals. So all these capitals make us more uh, stronger and more branded. That's very important for our organization because if we sustainably grow and work in Mongolia, our entrepreneurs can be a good partner with this in the consulting industry. So as a result, we act responsibly to save clients by utilizing capital resources. That is what I want to share with you. Thank you very much. And next year, <laughs> Uh, Mongolia is going to organize, actually, to be to host this conference uh, in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. So I would like to invite everyone uh, into Mongolia and welcome. <laughs> and I hope not in the cold weather, maybe in summertime. Who knows? Saint Victoria knows more. And uh, welcome to Mongolia next year. Yeah.